Listen, when we tell you our next guest is making waves all over the world, we mean it. At 13 years old, he's already gaining international accolades for his writing. Remember the name Maximo Cesar Castellanos because we have a feeling that you're going to be hearing it for a very long time and we are so happy, excited, and overjoyed to be welcoming Maximo to Del Marva Life this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Before we get any further, I've got a lot to ask you. Tell me about your medal and this, this prize. What is it? Um, it's a medal I received from the International Latino Book Awards. My book in Spanish, Dr. Pren y los Días de Su Infancia, got nominated for Best Book Written by a Youth. Oh my goodness, and, and this is a, a plaque that goes along with it, is, that, is yes. that correct? So how does it feel to be recognized internationally? I feel very happy and proud that someone has recognized all my hard work I do as an author. So now, that was this book here, correct? Wait, make sure I get this right. Now the reason that I have two of these is one that was the original in Spanish, right? Yes. And then you have another in English. Yes. <sighs> okay. So tell me, who is Dr. Pren in the first place? In, in the first book, Dr. Pren is a mysterious man who lives in a cabin, and nobody has seen him come out of the cabin for the past 30 years. Oh, wow. Now, this you actually wrote last year? Yes. Okay. And this is your newest book, Dr. Pren and the Attack of the Germs. Can you tell me what it's about without giving away the book? Um, in the first book, George, there's a young man called George who lost a bet. He has to find out all about Dr. Pren's life. Okay. In the second book, he returns to Dr. Pren's cabin to learn more about his life. So yeah. Dr. Pren and the days of his childhood were the first, was the first. Yes. And then this is the second. Oh my goodness. I gotta, I gotta tell you, young man, this is a, uh, so you, you learned Spanish as your original language, right? Yes. And, and wh when did you begin to learn English? When I started going to preschool, I started to learn English. Yeah. And then it developed into this or did you always want to write? When I was little, I started like drawing like comics. And then once I learned to read and write, I started to write my stories. And I've always wanted to become an author. Now, do I understand you've got illustrations in this book as well? Yes. So you wrote it, you mm -hmm. illustrated it. Mm -hmm. I want to read, just want to share with you real quick. One of the judges commented, you have a great imagination and a talent for writing. Where do you come up with your ideas? A lot of the, a lot of the places I visit, a lot of the other books I read, a lot of movies I watch, and just some experiences. And you all put them together and wrote a story. Yes. So, what's next? Are you going to do a third book? Oh. Uh, yes. Right now, I have the third book written. We just need to start editing it. Oh wow! How is the whole process of writing and editing and then publishing? Has that been difficult? The writing process, usually I think of the stories in my head first, and then I write it down. And probably the drawing, the illustrations, and the editing, and making sure there's no grammar mistakes, right. that, that takes a while. Oh my goodness. So um, are you going to do this for, I hate, I always hate to ask someone your age, what are you going to do when you grow up? What, what, what are your plans? But may I ask, are you thinking about becoming an author for life? I hope to keep writing books. I also want to become a soccer player, a movie director, and a priest. Really? Yeah. We're going to be hearing your name for a long time. Maximo, it's been wonderful talking to you. Let me ask before I let you go, though, how can we find your books? You can, you can buy all my books on Amazon, my two most recent ones, the Dr. Pren ones. You can also find those on barnesandnoble.com. I hope you have gotten half as much out of talking with Maximo this afternoon as I have because it's been absolutely wonderful. Georgetown's Maximo Cesar Castellanos, thank you so much and best wishes. Look forward to hearing more about you.